What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 4. So there's a big update in the game. Uh, force feedback on the wheel feels so much nicer. We are on our G920 with our custom hydraulic handbrake, sequential shifter, and our G Innovation 350 millimeter wheel with our AM Studio quick releases. So we are here real quick to do one of my custom routes that I just made. It's pretty much a highway run. Just gonna see how it works out. It also goes in a little bit in the grass to loop back around. Kind of probably use this for some uh, XP and money farming. But we're going to run this and then we'll get into what I really wanted again today. And that's the feedback feel. And uh, probably my new favorite drift car. So we're going to start with a quick race. See how this goes. We'll see how uh, these drive guitars handle uh, this custom race route. Like I said, the force feedback has changed and it does feel so much nicer when it comes to racing on the dirt as well as drifting. It all feels really nice now. Oh boy. So you do that and lose control of the car. So, like I said, this is pretty much just a straight highway route. Um, it loops back around, comes back on the other side. It's kind of, I've been seeing a lot of people doing races like this to do, uh, I guess you would say XP farming because uh, it's a quick way to do multiple lab races and uh, get a lot of uh, get a lot of money and credit for it. So this new root creator thing is actually a very awesome thing to have uh, because you can create long routes, short routes, you can you know challenge your friends to race your routes. I don't think this thing has seven years it does not. And uh, we're getting passed by a month Mustang. I went to say Mustang. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, those guys are messing them up. But so. Like I said, this is just a quick highway route. Running it for one lap just to see how it does. If you guys have created routes, let me know down in the comment section down below so I know, you know, maybe I can give them a shot, see what I see how I like them because I know a lot of people are creating some pretty awesome routes with this route creator. Definitely a big, uh, big step up in the Forza game with uh, the ability to do this now. So the end of this uh, end of this section up here, we got to go back around the roundabout. So that might be where I'll be able to catch up. Uh, to these guys, but the, the wheel feels so nice at high speed. It's not really twitchy, and I'm not really uh, losing grip. Let's slow down a little bit. These drive guitars actually. Oh, I think I just made that guy miss that. I'm gonna try and uh, catch up to these guys. How am I being beat by a little Renault? Or a little, uh, yeah, Renault or whatever that is. Forza Edition. I think it's because I have difficulty set on uh, very high difficulty. I think it's on expert or unbeatable or pro. I think it's pro. But uh, I'm gonna run back the highway the other way and I'm trying to get some drafting points. I am using a Forza Edition car for uh, clean skills boost. So it's definitely uh, gonna give me some additive bonus with this uh, car. And I have a feeling I'll be able to catch them probably in the dirt section that loops back around definitely going to be saving this and uh, throwing this up and probably seeing how much I can get on just one lap and then see maybe doing a uh, extended 10 20 lap race in this and just grind some money and some experience it's a very simple race though that's that's what I like about it because it's just straight on the highway I'm really not doing much it's kind of boring in a sense for uh, you guys right now but we will be getting into uh, getting sideways with and the feel of this wheel after the update because it did update a lot with the force feedback so that's what we're here today to look at and as well as um, my new favorite drift car I guess you could say so I'm gonna try and catch these guys because I would like to win my little one lap race thing but apparently I didn't need to break that much and this is this is where I saw oh geez this is where I said I might be able to uh, catch them is when we go into the dirt, but probably not now. Because I was trying to find a way to loop it back around to make this a circuit race, and this car's not that great in dirt. Not the best car for dirt. So this, tr this is definitely going to be where people uh, have problems. Ow, as we hit a wall. So I think I'm gonna finish this off and then we are gonna see what kind of experience we get for finishing in basically last. And then we're gonna get into getting sideways. 
in some of these other cars that I like because I've also tested this with the uh, FD cars and the feedback feels really nice. Um, sure, we'll create it. I don't think I want anything for that, but uh, we're going to set this as EVLH, obviously, for EVL Highway. If nobody's already had that, but... Um, sure. I don't want to actually go into competing in a race, but... A sip of our uh, steak and shake. Okay, we can cancel that. We're gonna back out. So, like I said, the physics have changed a little bit, and uh, the cars feel so much nicer. So, we are going to hop into an FD car real quick and uh, rip this roundabout and maybe rip around a little bit to uh, kind of show you guys and get the feel of the wheel. Uh, my settings have not changed from last time I uh, edited them so uh, but we will check those real quick to show you make sure they are still the same so we need to go into options so like I said Forza did update the wheel feel and the wheel physics so everything is still set with 45 100 55 67 Oh, that did drop. I didn't... That was actually supposed to be 100. Okay, well, 67 and 20. So these settings... So I guess there is a new setting. Feel really good on the wheel. So if you want to try these settings, give them a shot. I've started the game up and they feel amazing. So now we are going to just uh, have a little fun in JTP's Mustang right now. Kick it in. And see, the wheel does not... The car doesn't get really super twitchy, which is what I like. And these FD cars did feel a little weird last time, but now they feel pretty good. The wheel physics feel great, actually. So whatever they changed with the wheel physics and the force feedback, they... Uh, Definitely did a, uh, a good change. Try and kick this in. Not hit that car. I probably should stay in fourth gear. Forgot this is just a f out of the out of the box JTP car. No tuning done to it, so it does only have four gears. I'll just rip this uh, fix them while we're here. tap on the flag so if you remember in some previous episodes when we were manjing it was quite a little bit difficult but now with these wheel changes it's actually a lot easier feels nicer the cars feel nicer and uh they just feel that much better so as for my new favorite drift car Everybody got this car and everybody was doing drag builds and stuff like that and you know 1500 horsepower you know drag racing the Mustang GT the custom GT we got in the car pack it's got extremely wide rear tires all I did to it was add a little bit of power change the suspension up and uh, this thing is actually a lot of fun to slide I'll show you guys the settings for it in a minute here, but it might be because of the really big wide tires that you can't change, but it was also has uh, a really wide stance because uh, the car allows you to do track stance change. So it's got a very wide stance, really wide tires, and it just, it feels nice. It slides nice, the wheel feels good with it. So this is probably one of my new favorite drift cars is this Mustang GT. And I mean, you can't deny it doesn't look, it doesn't look awesome with the super wide track stance. So like I said, it has that 
very aggressive wide stance and as you can see I kept the stock rims on there but we have a little bit of poke out the rear with those really wide rear tires and uh, some nice poke up front but just the massive amount of rubber that is in the back end of this car I think makes it that much more stable and that much more fun to get sideways I well oh, see you buddy I definitely have a lot of fun in this car and I've only been driving it for a little bit we're gonna kick it a little high speed oh I uh, misjudged that turn a little bit but like I said the wheel physics they feel really good for drifting um, they feel really good racing too and they feel good on the dirt I did do a, uh, a dirt race before I hopped on and started recording and uh, the cars don't want to spin out on me that much in the dirt like they used to they feel really good the cars feel pretty stable it's not really hard to keep control of the car on dirt I don't know if it's just the physics they changed and the fact that it's summer season that's making that much of a difference but it they've definitely done a very good job with the force feedback change in this recent update and I mean I know everybody's building drift car, or drag cars out of this Mustang but you know what uh, I'm gonna be a little different I'm gonna have it as a drift car because I'm not a fan of drag racing in a sense so I think we need to go to a place that has some really good nice twisty roads like the uh, hairpin section back at the festival that way you can actually give this thing a proper proper test drive and uh, proper sideways feel and uh, you guys can see how little I'm uh, struggling on the wheel or forcing the wheel and it's just a very good update so on a side note torque drift has come out with the full game so look for torque drift videos coming to the channel here very soon especially this week we'll be doing some of those as well as Forza um, I will be doing some car meets and some open lobbies here in Forza Horizon 4 to get people active in my game and uh, maybe do some racing drifting have some fun just uh, have a little laid-back live session here very soon total winnings ten million dollars hmm horizon exhibitions 27 of 70 All right, so we are going to rip this now to get a better better feel until our audio glitches, which I've noticed is happening a lot recently, getting uh, some audio glitching. So, uh, all right, there we go. If you guys have noticed an audio glitch too, let me know if you guys have done anything to try and fix it because uh, I haven't actually found a way to fix it. So we're gonna kick this in now. But see, it handles so nice, and the wheel, all I gotta do is pretty much just put it where I want it to go, and uh, kind of stays where I need it to. I'm not really struggling with the wheel at all. That was a very you have arrived at your not destination. super high point run, but I don't have to fight the wheel. I kind of just let the car do its thing, let the wheel do its thing, and uh, it handles extremely well like that it's just it's so much smoother I can let go but I, it it wouldn't catch it as fast as I needed to I bet you if I turned out force feedback it would but the wheel feels good it has nice feel when you're sliding it, it's not it doesn't get super light it has a good uh, I'd say a good friction on itself when you're sliding now I don't know if that's a testament because of the car and the way the car is but I've tried it with a couple of other cars and all the cars feel the same the, the wheel feels like it has some weight to it when you're actually sliding because they fix that force thing back under steer like before the update would I have ever thought about being able to do that no doing that quick transition without having to worry about the wheel getting too light or me over correcting and just being able to smoothly go through that s it's definitely a uh, an amazing feeling now to have the wheel feel almost proper now 
like that. The wheel feels just proper. So we're going to go rip through the city a little bit here and uh, have a little fun. If you guys haven't noticed on the channel, there has been a little bit of a rebranding. Um, there is a new logo and new uh, stuff like that out on the channel. And my audio glitched again. And then it comes back. There's new branding. There's, uh, if you noticed on my Instagram, I did post pictures of some stickers that will be available here soon, as well as uh, stuff I will debut on the channel as well. So as, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on the channel, as well as when I will be doing live sessions and stuff, if you guys want to be part of that, make sure you definitely uh, check it out. I feel like my uh, light bar behind me is actually tripping out on me. So, like I said, follow all of what you found in the description box below. I will bring more videos out here with the new horse feedback feel here this week. So, until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. Oh, I want something.